18. Chief Red Jacket, we do not wish to destroy your religion or to take it from you. We only want to enjoy our own. Chief Red Jacket, 1805. Introduction. The Sanaka people were part of the great Sequoia's Federation of Tribes that lived in the area we now know as Upstate New York. This Federation of Tribes, also known as the Five Nations, or the Six Nations after the addition of the Tuscarora, was unique among Native peoples in the sophistication of its political organization. The Six Nations lived in a rough geographical or geographic nation or line, extending from the eastern edge of New York to the western. They called this territory their Longhouse, and each tribe had its place and its role. The Senecas were the westernmost tribe and were responsible for what was known as the western door of the Longhouse. When a visitor or messenger came to this western door, there was a responsibility of the Senecas to assay the purpose of the visit. If it was something of little consequence, they were empowered to dispose of it in their own council. But if the subject under consideration proved to be something of importance to all the tribes of the Federation, a runner was sent to call for a general meeting. The tribes then gathered and discussed the issue at hand, listening and speaking until common understanding had been reached. It was this practice of government by counsel and consensus that fostered the oratorical genius of the people of the Okoyas Federation. The need to discuss ideas clearly and directly and to arrive at decisions which all could support bred in the Okoyas and eloquence that European observers often compared to that of the Roman Senate. It was to this tradition that Red Jacket was heir, and he undertook the task of oratorical training with extreme diligence. He studied other great speakers in their subsidies of style. He worked on musicality and nuisance, and he strove to master the use of metaphor and poetic expression. By the time he had achieved preeminence in his tribe, he was capable of oratorical expression so full of nuisance and poetry that government agent Horatio Jones called his oratorical talents among the noblest that nature ever confirmed upon man. The speech quoted here was given in the summer of 1805. An occasion was a meeting of the assembled chiefs of the Okoyas Foundation or Federation. They had gathered in council to hear the request of a young missionary named Cram, who had been sent among them by the Evangelistical Missionary Society of Massachusetts. This society had sent missionaries before and had met with some success, but the Indians apparently had not taken as fully to Christianity as society had hoped. The society now hoped to establish Cram among the Akoyas so as to further their education in the Christian religion. Cram spoke briefly, requested only the right to follow up on the interest that certain of the Indians had shown in the Christian religion. After hearing him, the chiefs consulted for about two hours. Then Red Jacket rose and spoke.